Hey guys, welcome back to Funny Pet Videos. Today we'll be looking at two different birds, the umbrella cockatoo and the African gray parrot. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at their physical characteristics, personality, and general care to keep them happy and smiling. The umbrella cockatoo is completely white except for a distinct yellow coloration on the underwings and at the base of the tail. They have a large white crest which lays flat on their head but is raised with alarm, which may include excitement, curiosity, or fear. This crest is rounded and umbrella shaped when raised, thus giving them their name. Their beak is grayish black and like all parrots, is large, curved, and very powerful. Their underwing and undertail are tinged yellow. Adults reach an average length of up to 20 inches with a wingspan of 12 inches and can vary in weight, generally around 700 grams. The African gray is silvery gray in color. The color is darker on the head and wings and lightens on the belly. Their head and body feathers are edged in white, giving the birds a scaled appearance. Their face has a white mask around their eyes leading to their beak. Their tail feathers are bright red. African grays are generally about 13 inches long with a wingspan of eight inches and generally weigh about 500 grams. For experienced bird owners, cockatoos can be very exciting to own. However, to newcomers or inexperienced owners, they can be a bit much, as they tend to be very loud and require a lot of attention. They're a very demanding bird that can become self-abusive and destructive if it does not get the attention it needs. While their noisy and energetic behavior might take a little getting used to, you'll still be charmed by all the good-natured fun and silliness of a cockatoo. They are very charismatic and love to play around. There surely isn't a dull moment with a cockatoo. Most bird keepers believe that only an experienced bird enthusiast should keep an African gray. They're complex parrots, highly sensitive and more than a little demanding. They're also charming and brilliant as they can mimic quite easily. They're creatures of habit and even a small change in routine can make a sensitive gray unhappy. They are also prone to plucking and chewing their feathers, among other bad habits. African greys are social parrots that need a lot of hands-on time. However, they aren't too comfortable with cuddling. Although, all birds are different and it all depends on their personality. Umbrella cockatoos are large birds that need very spacious enclosures and need to be let out of their cage every so often as being caged in can lead to self-harm. A cockatoo's diet is important as they can quickly suffer from the effects of poor nutrition. For your cockatoo, you should begin with a commercial seed mix usually designed for cockatoos. It contains all the important seeds such as millet, safflower, cannery, and oats. Supplement this with a lot of fresh green vegetables and fruit and you will have a balanced and nutritious diet. Be sure you do your own research on their diet before you buy. With the right care, cockatoos can live up to 60 years and some as high as 120 years. African greys also need to be let out of their cage every so often to stretch their wings but can be a little more lenient. Their diet is important as well and consists of fruits such as pomegranate, organic mango, and melon supplemented with a quality formulated pelleted feed is the best base diet for the African gray. Many grays also enjoy a variety of treats and snacks such as nuts. As with most exotic bird species, African grays should have supplemented fresh vegetables including leafy greens such as arugula, watercress, kale, sprouts, and healthy seeds such as hemp and flaxseed. African grays can also live a very long time from 45 to 50 years. As for grooming, all birds should be gently misted with a water bottle dedicated to this use only. The spray should be room temperature and misty, sprayed up and over the bird to replicate a fine rain. Never spray the bird directly in the face. In addition to misting, a room temperature bird bath should be offered to your bird at least twice weekly. Monitor your bird while he's bathing and remove the bath when he's finished. During misting and bathing procedures, make sure there are no drafts that may chill your bird when he is wet, which can cause respiratory issues. 
Both make for great longtime friends, but should only be for those who are willing to put in the time with them as they need a lot of attention. You'll surely be happy with either if you're committed to taking care of your bird. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this. And let us know if there are other animals you'd like to see side by side.